Hi guys, it's me again from Do It Yourself. Today I'm going to tell you something really important about Kindle. If you own a Kindle device and like to read books on your Kindle, you probably know that you cannot just copy and paste PDF files into your Kindle device to read them. It's kind of tricky to read every PDF book you own on your Kindle device. So today I'm going to tell you how to convert your PDF files into Kindle formats. So let's get started. If you rely on a Kindle device or Kindle app for reading, you probably know that it supports not only ebooks but also PDFs. In fact, if you're doing your homework, you also know that your Kindle device or Kindle app has its own email address, meaning you can send any PDF straight to your device just by attaching it to an email. But reading PDFs on a Kindle requires a little help. Portable document files are static images hosting exactly the same dimensions, typeface, illustrations, and formatting on any device capable of opening them. Let's go through through and one with a display large enough to view a PDF at its full size, but loud enough for anyone using a little Kindle e-reader. The comparatively small size of the display forces you to zoom and scroll around to read the document. It's a pretty miserable experience. The solution to this is to convert the PDFs to be read on a Kindle. We'll show you the aforementioned email trick first and then a couple of other solutions. Every Amazon Kindle comes with its own email address. You can find the address of your Kindle under settings, my account, sent to Kindle email. Send an email to this address, typing convert for the subject line and attaching the PDF you would like to read. Amazon will automatically convert the contents of the PDF to a size that your e-reader can more readily handle. Once converted, the PDF will be sent to your Kindle using Amazon's WhisperSync technology. Using this method to convert PDFs has its drawbacks. First, it can take anywhere from 10 minutes to a few hours for the PDF to show up in your Kindle's library. Second, if you're using your Kindle out of the country where it was originally registered, using WhisperSync to load the file on your e-reader could end up costing you a few bucks. Third, if your PDF contains images or charts, the conversion process may orient them the wrong way in the document or split them across several pages. While companies such as Amazon employ digital rights management to prevent you from sharing books between multiple devices, Calibre frees you from such constraints and offers total control over your ebook collection. With Caliber, you can transfer books between your computer and e-reader and vice versa, converting their format for whichever device you choose and removing the DRM so that they can be shared across all of your devices instead of just one. Additionally, the app can store your library online so that it can be accessed by you from anywhere in the world, making Caliber probably the most powerful ebook management software available right now. First of all, you will need to download Caliber by visiting the Caliber website. Upon installing the application, you are greeted by a software wizard to assist you in setting up Caliber to your specification. Choose a language and file location, then click Next to proceed. Now select your ebook reader from the list and click Next once again. If you are a Kindle user, enter your Kindle email address to automatically send files to your device via email. This step is entirely optional and can be skipped if you prefer by pressing next and then finish to exit the wizard. Now that the app is up and running, it is time to select an ebook and add it to your Calibre library. Click the add books icon situated in the top left hand corner of the screen to display the relevant dialog box. Locate and highlight the ebook you wish to convert and then click open to add it to your library. Now highlight the ebook in your library and press the convert books icon. You can edit the metadata if you want, but I am not going to edit anything here. So let's head over to next step. Choose your desired file format from the output format drop down menu and click OK. You can select EPUB or MOBI for your Kindle device. I'm going with MOBI here. 
Once you have chosen ebook has successfully converted, it is ready to be sent to your ebook reader. Connect your ebook reader to the computer, right click the ebook, hover over send to device and press send to main memory. There you have it. One ebook converted to the format of your choice and safely deposited on your Kindle, Kobo or any other ebook reader that you own. Did you find this step by step guide helpful? If so, leave a comment below.